The family of a young man accused of stealing a Greensboro fire truck asking for help from a Guilford County judge today. The mother of 23 year old Mason Washington detailed her son's struggles with mental health inside a courtroom. Fox 8's Madison Forsey was there and tells us what led to the situation. Well, Washington is from Georgia. He moved here to Greensboro on Labor Day weekend. His mom said today on Friday he was checked in here at Cone Health for a mental health crisis. He was checked into the psychiatric wing of Cone Health, but then on Saturday he left voluntarily. She says he walked right across the street to the Greensboro Fire Department Training Center. I mean, like, he was, like, dancing in the car. Like, it does not look like a firefighter at all. Drivers in disbelief as they passed a Greensboro fire truck with someone unexpected behind the wheel. It looks like he's, like, driving it with, like, the parking brake still on. And, I mean, he had a gas mask on and was, like, dancing in the car. A situation so strange, a person who called in from the Greensboro Fire Department Station 1, where the truck was originally parked, couldn't even believe it. Somebody's driving the uh, training truck out of the building. I did not recognize the young person. There would be no reason for the uh, for that truck to be taken out by a recruit. Police say it was 23-year-old Mason Washington behind the wheel. Washington faced a Guilford County judge for the first time on Monday. Fire trucks are made to ensure the safety of our community. And if someone takes a vehicle that could possibly use and assist in other individuals that have been or are going through a time of turmoil they need the fire department, that poses a danger to our community. His family came to support him during his appearance. They didn't share why he stole the truck, but his mother tried to help the judge understand what led up to the situation. She says her son struggles with PTSD. Also, on Friday, he um, was running around the neighborhood with only his boxers in a golf club, and the uh, neighbors called the police. Behavioral health came out. That's when Washington checked in for psychiatric help at Cone Hospital. He called me all night asking me to let him know he could leave. Which I refuse to do because he needs to get in the facility. Washington's mother says he left Cone Health on his own Saturday and walked across the street to Station One. That's where police believe he broke into a secured building, took a t shirt and a pair of boots, and drove off in a $50,000 fire truck used for training. This is not normal behavior for him. You are asking that if he can um, be evaluated and mandated to go to mental health because he left the facility because apparently. He was there voluntarily. A judge did decide to keep Washington's bond at $10,000, saying he could be a flight risk. I reached out to a spokesperson for the Greensboro Fire Department. They did not offer any additional details about the cost of damage to the truck or how Washington got on site. In Greensboro, Madison 4C, Fox 8 News. All right, Madison.